Now, I don't like to make bold assertions, but according to the events of Steven Universe Monster Reunion, my theory about how gems are corrupted was pretty right on. Oh, look at the master theorist. Now try predicting something difficult. The episode starts with Steven's power to heal things coming back, cause the plot says so. So he uses his newly reacquired ability to help his MFF. Monster Friend Forever, Centipedal. And it kinda works, I mean, she goes feral again, but she gives him a history lesson, and then leads him to more centipedals. Good, they're all together. That means they're easier to exterminate. You, sir, are kind of awful. Yeah, I know. Unlike this episode, which is actually pretty good. Although I can't truly say that I liked it, there's an awful lot of good in here. Starting off, Steven has a disconcerting habit of just getting whatever power he needs in any given situation. But they do a good job of balancing that by having his powers backfire or just not work the way he wants. The most interesting part of the episode was the information we got about how the Diamonds chose to end the Gem Civil War on Earth. It would seem this weapon, or whatever it is, alternately described by Steven as a sound, a song, and a light, came from the diamonds. So this might just be something that the diamonds can do. Another interesting detail is that when Centipedal represented the diamond authority, she drew three diamonds. The top, left, and right ones specifically, leaving out the bottom one, which is pink. Now, I don't now, nor have I ever believed that Rose Quartz is pink diamond but there may be a connection between Pink's non-involvement and the actions of Rose Quartz. So for those reasons and more, I recommend Steven Universe Monster Reunion. Now if you're interested in more reviews of anime, movies, TV shows, comic books, or video games, check out my channel on YouTube at StupidPrivate913, or find my Facebook and DeviantArt pages for video updates and more. Thank you for watching. Hey kids, today's show is brought to you by the letter 4 and the number POTATO! I'm a stupid private.